Yeah, we've all heard about JDM legends that you can tune to beat supercars. But Japan isn't the only place you can go for super tunable rides. Let's head across the Atlantic for some tuning love. These cheap Euro cars have unlimited, untapped, unbelievable potential. And the last one on this list, it's not only the cheapest, but it also has the most tuning potential. If you're new here, smash the subscribe button. Otherwise, it's great to see you guys again. Let's go. The E9X generation of the BMW 335i is a luxurious, leather-filled, rear-wheel drive beast. The famous heartbeat of the 335i, the twin-turbo inline-six N54 power plant has so much tuning potential that it's commonly referred to as the German 2JZ. <laughs> And rightfully so, it ain't bad stock with a vigorous 300 horses. But with just an intake, catless exhaust, and tune, oh baby, this thing will rip. You're now looking at 400 horses, baby. And if you decide to invest a little blood, sweat, and tears and choose to change the internals and rock a big single turbo, I've seen examples that have been knocking on a thousand rear wheel horsepower's door. That is straight bonkers. Now, the 335i came in two trims. You can get it with either rear wheel drive or the 335xi, which has all wheel drive. And that all depends on how you want to put down the power. Now, the 335i might be considered the Euro Supra, but it sure as hell doesn't have the super price tag. And by using today's video sponsor, Auto Tempest, which I love using because they bring together all the listings from all the major used car sites into one. So if I go to autotempest.com, search BMW 335i, and then by clicking advanced search, I can filter to my liking. So a coupe and obviously a six speed manual. Click search and just like that, there's results from over six sources. And this 09 looks great. Yes, love the wheels and yes, a six speed manual and only 6,500 bucks. So what I did for you guys is I put the links to all the cars that we're gonna talk about in today's videos down in the description as well as the first comment. So you can check them out. And remember, the best and easiest way to find your next ideal car is autotempest.com. Now, from one twin turbo to another twin turbo six cylinder. And yes, this one also comes from the black, red, and yellow. The beastly B5 S4 is quickly becoming a modern classic, both for its tunability and beautiful looks. Produced in the late 90s and early 2000s, the B5 is the generation to get for performance. Under the hood, the S4 is packing a 2.7 liter bi-turbo V6 cranking out a modest 250 horsepower. But it comes standard with loads of potential. And when you couple that with the confidence-inspiring Quattro all-wheel drive, you pretty much have a masterpiece. Plus, there's a huge Audi tuning community that will help you with everything. And with only a $500 tune and an exhaust, you are pushing the S4 up to 350 horsepower. And if you decide to swap the turbos, you'll yield even greater horsepower numbers. And with the beautiful leather interior, and a manual transmission, you'll have tons of fun sending it down the Audubon or your local highway. Don't speed though, obey your local laws. Now, these babies are getting cheaper every single day. I found this one for just over 4K with a new set of wheels and a tune. Working on these turbocharged engines, albeit fun, can get pretty hairy if you don't know what you're doing. Now, one option is to scale down to an Audi A4, which still makes respectable power numbers. And it is the cheaper option, but if you're trying to slay supercars, the only one to go with is the S4, baby. And let's be honest, the B5 S4 has turned into somewhat of a tuner hero icon, but this next little pocket rocket has been a tuner's choice for decades before the S4 was even an idea. The Volkswagen Golf is a European icon, and you definitely know somebody that owns one. I mean, you can't go wrong with a V-dub, but if you want the best for the value and tunability, then the Mark IV R32 is for you, baby. If you close one eye and squint with the other, it's basically just a GTI that has super trick all-wheel drive and a legendary 3.2 liter VR6. But it's so much more than just a regular GTI because you can tune this thing to the moon. 
Stock, these things come with about 240 horsepower. But throw a little money at the power plant for some bolt-ons and maybe a turbo, and you can really push this hot hatch to the limits. With just stock internals and bolt-ons, you're looking at 300 to 400 horsepower. And if you decide to go with forced induction, I've seen single turbo setups get up to 600 wheel horsepower. That is one potent little sauerkraut sandwich. This European steed will blitz you down the road with ease, all while you're grinning ear to ear because that six-speed manual transmission is so slick that you're gonna be comparing it to your buddy's S2000's tranny. And we all know that Honda makes the best transmissions. And when you couple that with the Haldex all-wheel drive, this thing will stick you through the corners through thick and thin. So, of course, using Auto Tempest, I found this beautiful blue R32 for 12.5K. Yes, these are cheap now, but they're only getting more expensive. So snatch one up using the ideal car strategies before they do. And you can safely say that you have one of the best German sports cars of all time. But if you're one of those people that you prefer a little wind in your hair, then this next ride is for you. The handsome, clown shoe styled BMW Z4M is a balls to the wall roadster that'll make all your drop top dreams come true. And let me throw you a curveball because the BMW Z4M is sort of like a Euro Miata. And although it may not be the answer to everything, it has way more power. The powerful 3.2 liter inline six makes a whopping 330 horsepower stock. And the light and nimble chassis is just as good as the engine because it's just going to dance around the corners. And with its smile inducing rear wheel drive, it's built to do some hooning as well. Now, mods for the Z4M are pretty much limitless. I mean, if all you get is a catless exhaust, intake, and a tune, you'll be ponying up 400 horses. But if you want to go hard in the paint, add on a supercharger kit, and that will up the stable to 500 ludicrous horses. And given the Z4M is light, you are gonna fly, baby. And the best part, these things are becoming really cheap. I found this one here for under 11K that has a beautiful deep blue paint job. So since summer's coming, get yourself a Z4M and don't forget the shades to block out all the haters. Dang, I just realized this whole list has been German. Let's switch it up a bit. Sweden is good for at least four things. Ikea, Swedish meatballs, a car that's gonna appear later in this list, and the Saab 9.3 Aero. This front wheel drive Mad Lad is a tuning platform that you may not have ever heard of. I mean, come on, why would you ever wanna buy a Saab to race? But my friends, this one is different. With a turbocharged V6 that puts out a respectable and reliable 255 horsepower, she can easily be pushed way beyond that. With just a JZW tune and a 20T turbo with a full exhaust, you're looking at a solid 430 horsepower, which is crazy, especially when coming from a Saab. And throw on some suspension work and some wheels, and you have a two-door pocket rocket that is fun and reliable to work on. Now, if you get one that was made after 2006, you'll get it with the 2.8 liter V6, which is the one you want because the three liter is way less reliable. And I found this manual V6 convertible 9.3 for only five and a half K, which sounds like a whole lot of Swedish fun for a whole lot less money than I thought. Now let's hop back to Germany and see what it's all about over there. Now, we all know how good their V6s and inline sixes are, but this thing has an engine in it that is much bigger and has just as much potential. Yeah, that big body is the CL55 AMG. Pop the hood and you see a 5.4 liter supercharged V8 staring right back at you, making 493 horsepower, which uh, is the most powerful from the factory on this list. It doesn't take much to let this beast out of its cage. With a couple mods like a carbon fiber airbox, intercooler, new pulley, and a generous tune, you can get this Merc to put out 608 horsepower to the rear wheels. And if you straight pipe it, it's something that your neighbors will never forgive you for. Just take a listen. Yep, that sound can be yours for a lot cheaper than you think. I found this brilliant silver CL55 for just under $8,000. Telling your friends that you drive an AMG Benz will definitely make you sound cool. But if you want the ultimate sleeper, the Volvo 850 T5 is the best turbo sleeper of all time. Yep, 
It's got a turbo and it's a whole lot of fun to wrench on. The 225 horsepower, 2.3 liter five cylinder is nothing to really write home about stock. However, she has a whole lot of potential. Doing the whole bolt-on route with a tune is gonna get you around 330 respectable horsepower to the front wheels. And the reason that the horsepower is quite low is because of that stock turbo. And it can only handle about 15 PSI, which isn't a whole lot. By throwing on a bigger snail and going the fully built route, you then can reach ludicrous 400, even 500 horsepower. Just promise me one thing, really comb over this car if you're considering buying one. They're getting older and it's just getting harder to find parts and they're really not all that cheap. So just be careful with this perfect project car. And you can pick one up like this T5 for 3,000 bucks, making this the cheapest car on this list and the one that has the most tuning potential. So what Euro tuner would you get, Ideal Fam? Let us know down in the comments. And we always leave something out, so let us know if we did. Each and every one of you rock, and if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and also subscribe if you're new here. Oh, and definitely check out some of our other Ideal videos. And as always, keep living that Ideal lifestyle.